Hello everyone and welcome to another FS Elite Review. My name is Patrick and today we're going to be taking a look at Latin VFR's Raleigh Durham International Airport. Now Raleigh is the capital of North Carolina and the airport has been around since about 1943 and it serves a variety of destinations around the USA. So today what we're going to do is take a look at some of the things that make this airport great. Now as we zoom in closer here, you can see the airport come to life. We have the airport vehicles moving about, uh, trees, static airplane, and some excellent buildings. Now you can see the tower here. Not too many cars in the parking lot, and uh, there also is 3D grass, but there's no configuration tool to turn on any of that stuff or take it away or add more. But with the way this airport performs, it's kind of an okay thing. There's not a whole lot you need to tweak to make the airport uh, perform good. If you have a decent machine, um, as I do, you shouldn't have any problem. Now have a look at these jetways here. Um, you got some rust on them and that is a very nice effect. Even the signs you can read and uh, that makes it very cool. Now as we pan up above the jetways you can see the wear and tear on the side paneling of the buildings. We have uh, nice lights pointed down here and uh, even in the middle here, you got the the nice trees and the artwork structure that they have at the airport. The airport also has animated jetways, as it should, and uh, they work great for the AI and your um, your own aircraft, as you can see here. Also, a lot of static objects around the airport. There's some cherry pickers. You have um, airplanes in the background, just parked. You um, you know these already come naturally on you don't have to do anything to to turn them on and it's just nice to have them sitting there when you taxi around the airport it's a nice touch now the night textures are also very nice um, we're having a look at the sun going down here they look and they look great and we'll have a couple looks at the the night traffic around here awesome spot lighting really meshes well with the Orbex textures if you're using that. You can see the parking lot here lit up and some of the terminals. They also modeled the inside of the terminals um, which is very cool. It looks a lot better from the outside. You go, The inside doesn't really match the level of detail the outside has but it still looks very nice. Now, to show you the performance of this airport, we're flying in on the PMDG, which, as you know, can be pretty heavy on the VAS, and we're still getting a pretty decent performance here as we're going to land on the, on the runway. Pappy lights are uh, put together very nicely here. Even with AI traffic, it seems to perform fairly well. Just take note to the grass textures, the uh, taxiway textures, the paint. Everything looks very nice. Um, that is one highlight of this airport is that it has a lot of detail. And you wouldn't know it just, you know, picking up, uh, looking at the screenshots or, uh, um, you know, looking at all the... Uh, advertisements for it but once you get in here and you you know you can see the oil stains on the tarmac and you know all kinds of detail that they put into this it's really um, I mean it's a fairly new airport but I would say it's going to be one of the more underrated airports um, right now we're gonna take uh, some general aviation out this is the Cessna 172 we're gonna do a takeoff and show you some of the airport below us Very smooth on the rollout. This is one of their general aviation runways that we're using. Kind of brings you over the whole airport.
going to park the plane right next to these aircraft. Like I said, just a very nice touch that that you have this. Because, you know, it looks like a real airport tarmac when uh, you taxi around and you see these things. Okay, as you can see the 3D grass on the side of the runway here. We're going to do a side shot of this 737 as it uh, heads out on the rollout. You can see a lot of the nice objects in the distance. And now we're off the ground, leaving this beautiful airport behind us as we depart. Now, you guys will not be disappointed in this airport. Uh, I think it'll be a great addition to your sim library, and I highly recommend picking it up. For the final score of this airport, we're giving it an 8 out of 10 on the features, 9 out of 10 on performance, 9 out of 10 on presentation, and an overall value of 9 out of 10, leaving the final score 8.8 out of 10. If you would like to purchase this airport, head over to their publisher, Sim Market, and add it to your cart. It's normally 20.99 euros, and uh, if you act fast before November 30th, you can get it for 13.64. If you would like to read the full review, head over to fselite.net. Not only for that, but for other great reviews and articles that are published daily. Don't forget to subscribe to the FS Elite YouTube channel where you can find more great content. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please send it to info at fselite.net. We want to thank you for watching this review. We hope it helps you make up your mind on if you want to purchase it or not. Until next time, guys, you take care, and we will see you later.